Hi everybody, David Dilling on behalf of Marksquare. Thank you for trying out PDF Marks for downloading the freebie. Now it's a free version, you won't actually do conversions, but you will get the preview, which is only, I want to make it clear, that's only just a representation of the PDF. It's not a true preview like in Preview or Acrobat. It's our own engine representing it. But the, the conversion itself will often be much better than what you see. What I want to share right now is the two main ways to get started with PDF Marks. Uh, when you have it, you download it, you install it on the Mac OS. The Windows version is coming soon. Sign up to the newsletter. Put a link down below in the description if you want a Windows version to be out in a few months, hopefully. Uh, the Mac version is ready to go right here, and it's quite simple. The main way number, way, number one way people use PDF Marks is just take a PDF here and drag and drop it on PDF Marks. And then from there, you get conversion options. Now, a lot of folks are going to be... You can go to Finity Publisher or Cork Express, even into Illustrator. But the most people are using PDF Marks for PDF to InDesign conversion. Because that's what uh, InDesign does not convert PDFs into InDesign. It will just place them, but you can't edit the, the information. The text is dead. It's, it's flattened, so to speak. So you can't get at it. But if you just click here, the icon InDesign, it'll convert this PDF right into a new Adobe InDesign file. And I can actually get in there and I can edit text. I can actually, um, you know, swap out fonts, use fonts that I have, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? So it's that easy to, uh, to use PDF marks to convert a PDF right into InDesign. Now, another uh, great thing about PDF marks is you can also just go convert to IDML via file, and that actually convert multiple PDFs in one go without the preview. So the preview is just indication of how it will look. There might be some things that will differ from how the conversion will be. So like you see here, this, this uh, text comes off the line here, but I've actually convert this document to InDesign. There we go, it pops open right up in InDesign for us here. What you see is that line is okay. So the preview is just an indication of how it would look, and the rest you can go in there and edit and, and, and adjust once you do the full conversion. Now we have this PDF completely converted and, and editable right up here in InDesign. So it's just amazing. You go in there make changes. You can do whatever you need to do. It's a totally new um, InDesign layout. So isn't that amazing? Just one click, boom. Now, in the freebie version, you can't do the conversions, right? So I'll show you in a moment how we can give you a sample conversion if you're interested in seeing an actual conversion. We can convert, we can convert everything, tables, you know, layers, live text, etc. But I understand that you want to see some things. and. It is true with PDF, some touching up is often required. So you're taking a PDF which has a sort of PDFs are not created equally, so some touching up might be might be needed with PDF to InDesign conversion, right? Now that was the first method you can use to convert PDFs to InDesign. You know, you just click the InDesign or you click File Convert to IDML or you export. You can also just export directly to IDML or export individual pages, even just get the text out of the PDF, etc. Now, the other method is if you're in InDesign itself, when you actually purchase the product, you'll be able to install these scripts up here and you can click Convert PDF Document. And there you can convert a PDF document right within InDesign. Boom, boom, quick and easy, done, and very handy, right? Okay, so now you're curious, how do I see a sample conversion? The freebie version is great. I see the preview. I know it's not perfectly going to preview how the PDF will convert, but you know, it looks neat. How do I how do I see an actual sample conversion, right? Well, on our webpage over at marks.com, go to PDF Marks, and there you can read all about PDF Marks and check out the reviews, by the way, which are just amazing. You know, like great time saver, countless hours of conversion work, saves countless hours of conversion work, went from eight hours to eight seconds or to seconds with PDF Marks. I mean, isn't that amazing? So up top here, you'll see a, a, an option called Demo. If you click that, You'll see here then another thing, freebie download, which you already have, and click on the demo submission. And there you'll get some more information, some education on exactly how awesome PDF Marks is. And you just click here, submit your PDF for a sample conversion. We're only going to do a few pages. We're not going to convert entire documents. Some people send entire books, you know. We're only going to do three or four pages. So let us know. Just send us a small document with a small PDF. That makes it a lot easier or let us know which pages. Fill in this little form, you send it off, and we'll send you back a demo conversion. So that's one way to see exactly how the PDF converts to InDesign with PDF Marks. If you want to purchase PDF Marks now, if you're convinced, you see how wonderful it works, you read the reviews, just go up here to purchase options, and you can purchase right now for only $219.
for a subscription, or you can get the perpetual for 359. But you saw if it's saving you eight hours on one document, then you just with one click paid for it. That's PDF Marks from Marksware. Thank you for trying the freebie. Those are your demo options, and we look forward to adding you as a customer. For any questions, email sales at markster.com. We're more than willing to help you out. All right, David Dilling from Markster wishing you a great day. Take care. Get approved. Get content. Be creative. Marksware.com.